guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell. Today we are doing another foundation review. Today's review and first impression is going to be on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is a newer foundation on the market and it's one that I've been really interested in testing out. One, because it's super affordable and two, because it has some pretty hefty claims. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Glam Fam. Make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of any videos that I upload. We're just gonna jump right into this tutorial. Let's talk about this foundation for a second. There are 20 shades in this foundation range. I love when foundations come out with a wide range of shades for every color of skin. The second thing that I wanna point out about this foundation is that you can purchase this foundation for under $5. I think Walmart has it for under five bucks. I got mine at CVS and it was around $5. So super, super affordable price point. Here are the amazing claims from the website about this foundation. It says, it's your skin only better. Our new high performing skin perfecting foundation underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every single time. Specifically made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin a no filter perfection. This foundation is all about being perfect under any type of lighting. It says that it was tested under seven light conditions with and without flash and it says that it features light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos. So it's supposed to adjust to whatever photo lighting that you are using. My particular skin type is combination to oily. Golden beige is the shade that I picked out. I have no idea if this is actually going to match me because I am self tanned right now so it might be a little bit light for my skin, but you know, we're just gonna make it work. Let's jump right in and put this bad boy on my skin. So I'm just gonna shake it up really quick. I am gonna put a little bit of primer on. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer, just because my face has been super dry lately and it's super annoying. Oh, I didn't know that it had this little spatula thing with it. So how am I gonna do this? I think I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. It's kind of runny. It's a pretty thin consistency. There we go, it's kind of running down my hand. And I'm just gonna start with that much. I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and we are going to start blending all over the skin. is one light layer of the foundation and I am so far pretty impressed. It did give me pretty good coverage. I would say it's about a medium coverage. I definitely have some pigmentation and stuff still coming through. It's not like clinging to any dry patches or acting weird with my pores or anything like that. I'm going to put another layer on and see how it does, how it builds up and let's do this. That is two layers of the foundation and it definitely did give me a little more coverage. I still wouldn't say that it's completely full coverage. It's very light on the skin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing heavy cakey makeup. It's not really accentuating my pores or anything, but I will say it is kind of collecting like right around my nose area. Other than that, I have to say that I, I really, really like the coverage of it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and I'll be back to tell you my thoughts. And then of course we will wear this throughout the day and I will give you my final review and thoughts at the end of the day. I am gonna test it in some different lights to see how the flashback, if there's any flashback in photos, uh, to kind of put the claims to the test. Stay tuned and let's go put on some makeup. Okay guys, I am back and I have put on the rest of my makeup and I have to say, I am so impressed. Everything went on fantastic. I'm really surprised at how this foundation really dried down. Most of the time, my foundations, no matter whether they are a matte finish or a dewy finish, they always still stay a little bit sticky. This is probably the first foundation I've ever used that I really probably didn't need to set with powder because it really dried down to like a matte 
powder finish. I still set it just because I am just in the habit of setting my foundations, but I used my Rimmel Stay Matte uh, Pressed Powder. And I am loving everything about it. I love the finish. I love that it feels lightweight on the skin, and hopefully it holds up for a decent amount of time on my skin. So I will check in at the end of the day and let you know how things are going, how it's holding up, and yeah, so stay tuned, and we'll see you in a few. It has been right at eight hours of wear for this foundation. I am so super impressed with this, you guys. It definitely did not give me any flashback in photography, which is really what this claims to do. So this is gonna be great for photo shoots, video shoots, bridal. If you wanna just look your best in photos, this is gonna definitely be the foundation that you want to gravitate towards. I have not touched up my face whatsoever. I haven't gotten oily and I am combination to oily skin. My makeup, everything still looks intact. I did have to touch up my lipstick because it had come completely off, but other than that, everything is still looking very nice and fresh. It rained today and I I uh, was out and about running errands and so it was humid and gross and sticky outside and my makeup did not budge. For $5 or less than $5, you cannot beat this foundation. It didn't oxidize on me either. So that's another benefit to this foundation. I'm just so impressed on all levels. Everything kind of looks pretty airbrushed after eight hours of wear. For me, I give this foundation a 10, especially for the price, it gets like a 12 because it's that amazing. That is my final thoughts on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.